All right, guys. So like I told you guys in the last video, we're gonna go ahead and bend this. This is the outer side of the step notch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab these uh, clamps right here. They're pretty much vice grips clamps. And then we're gonna grab this adjustable wrench and another one, or maybe just this one by itself, and we'll bend the pieces in. Once they're bent in, we'll go ahead and clean up the edges, um, and we'll start to weld it. I don't know if you guys, you guys can barely see those lines, but those lines actually go all the way through, they're laser cut. So you're able to bend it. All right, so I'm gonna set up and then we'll show you guys. All right, so I got it all clamped down. And now, get your adjustable wrench. Adjust it. And start to bend it. So then what you do is you get this square. Put it on here. I don't know how well you guys could see. So like right there, that's pretty much 90 degrees right there. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the rest to everything else and then I'll just do a little time lapse on that. All right, so as you guys can see right here, it's all completed. Everything pretty much at 90 degrees. So now I'm gonna go ahead and tack it in and we'll go from there. Um, I'm gonna try to use my TIG. The TIG, uh, it's almost out of gas, so I'm probably just going to end up tacking it and doing as much as I can with it just to, you know, keep practicing and finish out my tank. And then I'll probably use the MIG. They're both pretty much, I think the tank on the MIG has a little bit more, um, so maybe I'll be able to finish it off. And then I'll get both tanks replaced at the same time. So I'll start tacking it in. All right, so I finally ran out of gas. You can tell I started running out about right here. You see where it bubbled. Then it bubbled up again right there. This thing's fucking hot. But this way, this side wasn't too bad. I think I'm, I'm starting to get a little better. Right here, I kind of sped up a little. So I gotta work on that, but nah, I'm sure it'll hold. Doesn't look too bad. Okay, so now I'm gonna get my my MIG. I gotta get it a little closer, turn this guy off, get my tank off, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I got the MIG going over here. And this is a Powell Con. This thing's old. My buddy let me have this a long time ago, but it's, it's a freaking champ. It'll it'll do the job. All right, so I think I got it at 90 or 80, 80 amps. Usually, that's about what I was welding over there on the frame. So I'm just gonna leave it there. And remember, I'm not a professional, so it is what it is. You guys can see this one's almost out as well. It's got like, uh, it's right under a thousand PSI. So maybe like, uh, like nine, maybe 850 PSI. 
so I think that'll that'll get us through that and then maybe we could even uh, tack some stuff in on the truck and uh, go from there all right so I'm gonna set up and then uh, I'll put you guys on a on the time lapse again okay All right, so I got that all burnt in. So you guys can see, here's my my uh, TIG welds. Not too bad. And then here's my MIG welds, which I think are a lot better, but I've also been practicing a lot more with the, the MIG. And here's where I ran out of gas, so I'll just grind that down and try to fix it. And then here's the front side. So I think I did pretty good. Doesn't look bad. I think it looks pretty nice. Here's the corners. Hey baby. Here is the other corner. So it's pretty much done. just have to make sure that it uh, cools down and then we'll move on to the other side yeah we're making a video say hi, hi. <laughs> all right guys so now that we've pretty much welded it there it is it's uh, I need to cut it measure it down and then I need to cut the the front piece so like right now it's turned around that actually goes on the other side so <clears throat> on this side I have the front piece or the inside piece and uh, I need to cut it here so that it'll match the other one that I have um, so it'll end up matching this one right here so this is the piece that goes all the way down. So I'm gonna cut that piece first, and then I'll be able to put that piece on first, or kind of get my measurements where I need to be, and then I can start figuring out with this one how much I need to cut off in order for me to keep going down. Um, so that's the first thing that I'm gonna do. Um, I'm just gonna set a time lapse and uh you know we'll, we'll just cut it and see kind of how it goes okay all right well it's all nice and cut now so now i'm going to take it over to the truck and uh start seeing where everything lines up all right, so on this side, it's going to go a little something like this. Then if you guys remember on the previous video, I told you guys how this piece kind of comes out. So it's like a little bit thinner on this side and then it like opens up right here. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and trim this again so that I could put this up so it'll be flush and level. Um, it'll be level going this way. all ground up you guys can see it's level that way and it's level that way so now what I'm gonna do is now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just give it like a tack here and here just give it like four tacks just little ones just enough to hold it and then I'm gonna grab this piece I'm gonna slide it behind it 
And then what I'm gonna do is once it's behind it, I'm gonna measure here to the top of to the top of this piece or to here. And whatever I get measurement wise, I'm gonna trim off of this one. And then I'm gonna let this one slide behind the frame. Once it's behind the frame and I think that it's, you know, nice and level and I like where it's at, what I'm gonna do is then I'll cut the tacks off of this front one and I'll come in and I'll scribe or I'll mark it with the marker on the height that I want it. And then we'll cut that off and then we'll start to do the whole measuring thing again and making sure that it's level and then I'll start tacking everything in again okay so um, I'll just put you guys in time-lapse again all right so that's welded in that motherfucker ain't moving so we're good we're good there Now, you see what I'm saying? So that should be around like right there. All right, so now I'm gonna measure from here to here, here to here. That one's, it's almost level, so it's right there, it's level. So whatever I measure, I'm gonna take off about a quarter of an inch to make up for that for that tilt. Okay. So we're at one and seven eighths on both sides. So what I'm gonna do is one and seven eighths, but I'll take off a quarter inch on this side to account for Maybe I'll do an eighth. I'll start off with an eighth. So we'll do one and three quarters on this side. We'll do one and three quarters just to uh, just to make sure that you know it's easier to cut again than it is to add a shit little weld right there. So on this side we'll go we'll go one and three quarters and on this side we'll go one and seven eighths all right guys so as you guys can see i've already went ahead and cut the edges cut the sides um one thing that i didn't film was once i cut the sides and i got it to where it was pretty much flush up here i went ahead and i cut the welds the tacks that I had on the front piece and I folded it down and then I marked the back side so that I could cut the ears off and when I say ears there was there was still metal hanging off of here that was like this long um, hanging over the side back here so I've cut that off and now it'll sit flush on top of the the frame so it'll sit on top of the frame right here it's level you guys can see nice and level so now I'm gonna go ahead and pretty much tack everything in um, and I'll put you guys on a time-lapse for that okay
All right, guys. Well, there it is, all burnt in. Um, I had quite a bit of a gap here. Like I had told you guys, kind of had to move it up about three quarters of an inch. Uh, but it's all good. I think it'll hold. Um, yeah. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. Comment. Don't forget to subscribe.